His Son, that we can have eternal life through the blood, through faith in what God has done for us. For God so loved the world. Amen? Amen. God has given us a new life. You like that new life? We may not have seen all of it yet, because we, but we've got a great hope of heaven, right? When you give God your, your whole life, you know in your heart that you're going to sit at that wedding supper of the Lamb and you're going to sit there next to somebody like Paul or Silas or somebody like that, maybe Abraham, wherever you sit, you're going to know that at the head of the table sits Jesus Christ. He won the victory for you that you have a right now to sit at that table. And he's given you new mansion. He's given you eternal life. Those that reject him will have weeping and gnashing of teeth in the fire that never goes out. Are you happy today you made the right choice? Today, I ask if you haven't made that choice, then it's time. Because how many of us can guarantee tomorrow is going to come? We don't know when the church is going to be taken away. We don't know when God's going to come back for his church and take us all home. And then, as they say, all hell's going to break loose. Jacob's trouble is going to be something that he doesn't want his church to see. So let's give God the glory today. If you love him, come and give him your life. If you've been away, come, back, come and give him back your life. Because you see, without Jesus, you're just tossed in the sea. Let's stand and sing. Mm-hmm.